Giuaco Piano Game, Main Line, Giuaco Pianissimo Variation. Balanced neither player ever had an advantage. That game was pretty competitive. The opening was balanced. It was a well-fought middle game that White got the better of. Sharp games are frequently the result of starting with the king's pawn since it dominates the center and frees up the bishop and queen on the light squares. A typical answer is e5, which builds a position in the middle, controls d4, and frees up the queen and bishop on the dark square. The move nf3 advances the knight toward the center, engages the e5 piece in combat, and sets up a castle. nc6 defends the pawn on e5, advances the knight toward the center, and scans the d4 square. Beginning the Italian game is bc4, which immediately begins to attack the f7 pawn and get ready to castle. nf6 advances the knight and engages in an attack on the exposed e4 pawn. d3 protects the e4 pawn and the c4 bishop, and allows the dark squared bishop to develop. bc5 develops the bishop, attacks the f2 pawn and prepares castling. C3 controls the d4 square and opens the diagonal for the queen at the cost of occupying the queen side's natural developing square. Castling gets the king to a safer square, out of the center of the board, while also developing a rook. Castling king side tends to be safer because the king is further from the center. This moves the bishop to a more active square, making it gain scope. This makes winning a pawn a possibility. This protects an underdefended pawn that is under attack. It is the last book move. It's all right. That's good. That's a decent move. That's good. The best choice is this one. It is ideal. As a result, the bishop may now control more squares because it is in a better position. That's good. This keeps the material balance in check with good commerce. It is ideal recaptures. It is ideal. Not the finest, this. It is incorrect. This develops a knight off its starting square, getting it into the action. This threatens to win a pawn. It is excellent. This exposes a bishop attack. It is ideal. This exchange is fair. It is ideal. Backs off. It is ideal. While not a mistake, that is also not the wisest course of action. That's good. Perfectly on point. It is ideal. Castling develops a rook while moving the king to a safer position beyond the board's center. Castling to the same side of the board as your adversary helps you escape some of the attacking that comes with castling to the other side. It is ideal. The knight can now control more squares as a result. It is ideal. This can indicate that a pawn is being attacked. That's good. This poses a threat to slay a queen. This enables the adversary to make a pawn attack known. It is incorrect. This overlooks a better way to reveal an attack on a pawn. This allows the opponent to kick a queen. It is an inaccuracy. This strikes the rival queen. It is ideal. The queen is now on a square that is more secure. It is ideal. Now that the rooks can see one another, they can defend one another. That's good. This defends the attacked pawn. It is best. This protects the attacked pawn. This threatens to fork pieces. It is best. This ignores a more effective technique to strengthen a pawn's defense. It is incorrect. This misses an opportunity to develop a rook off its starting square. It is a miss. A pawn that was being attacked and had no defenses is now protected by this. It is ideal. This defends a piece that is being attacked but is not well defended. This poses a fork piece threat. It is ideal. The pawn is now adequately defended. It is excellent. Balanced neither player ever had an advantage. That game was pretty competitive. The opening was balanced. It was a well-fought middle game that White got the better of.